Hello, Maria here with Fourth Dimension. This is a reading for Cancer. I'm kind of excited because I'm a Cancer. Whew. It has been a crazy, crazy week. Woo, I'm gonna keep that one. We are at the end of a week, beginning of a new week. We've gone through two major eclipses a full moon dealing with retrograde nonsense and quite honestly ready for a beginning <laughs> I am ready for a new beginning cancer oh my goodness cancer 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 what is happening in your world oh my goodness so I'm pulling again from the what's the tea and the Island Time Wellness for Cancer. Woo, crazy. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my gosh. Cancer. This isn't good, people. I'm telling you, I don't know who I'm talking to. Lord. Bottom of the deck. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Paradise. Bottom of this deck. Jackpot. Oh my gosh. Let's go buy a lottery ticket. Love it. <clears throat> so, now, if I could say that that... Let me just try to get my head in here. Sorry for messing with this, but I want to show you this. Um, if that was the overall vibe was winning, I would not have these cards. But these are um, the cards for your reading. Cancer. Huh. So I have haunted. Somebody's haunted with you, my friend. They are thinking about you. I feel I get like trauma bond. This person is completely obsessing over you. They can't let you go. They have flashbacks. They're looking at the memories in their phone on the, on their, like it's all over the place. They can't get you out of their mind. And they have girl with a snake. So it's empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used ena um, enable and boundaries. So <clears throat> I don't know who the, I, I mean, it says girl with a snake. So I assume I'm, I don't, I don't believe that things happen in my readings by mistake or um, in, in coincidence. So I get a sense that you are living your best life. I feel like you came into an up upswing of money and you are looking at, you're just, you found somebody and you're enjoying yourself. True story. You are living your best life. I feel like this, you do feel like it is the jackpot. You may have won some money. You may have come into, um, I got an inheritance, um, a payout. I get a payout, um, a legal issue finally coming into your favor. You, you are having to come up and it is so overdue, Cancer, so overdue. You've been waiting, you've been sitting in a period of, I can't say karma or pain, but it's a mixture of that, I feel. And I feel like you've done some elevating, I don't know. So whoever I'm reading for, there's clearly a narcissist empath paradigm. Cancer, I, I believe you're the empath, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And I have a girl with a snake. So the girl with the snake and the, um, the haunted. And the haunted gives me vibes of, uh, of uh, little black magic. I don't know if that was the intent of the designer of the artistic, uh, artistic demeanor of the card. I just believe, because it says traumas and side effects, but I get the sense that this girl with a snake has a... Has it, it's like jealous. I get strong, jealous vibes. Like you 
are happy with somebody and they don't like it, whoever this person is, you're happy with somebody, it sets somebody off and they wanna get even, it's a get back vibe <clears throat> and they can't get you out of their mind. Obsessed is a, obsessed is like, I have restraining order level, like that level, like this person, I think I said this on a different read, they're a bit imbalanced. Um, ain't shit in camera. <laughs> Who, who are you dealing with? Cancer? Do we need to talk? Do we need to go to coffee and have a chit chat about your friends? Like seriously, I have ain't shit in camera. So ain't shit and I have, this is what the interesting thing is. This is the, the depiction of this. So you're, I get the sense you're doing something creative and because this person is drawing. And so the vibe I get off the creation is you're creating something. You're creating something that is unique and different and it's an a step up it's a level and it's authentic this is your authentic creation this is you're not plagiarizing you're not borrowing you're not stealing. that's a warning right hey is somebody here come here so and i she has worked all damn day and now your reading comes and she's like oh a leaf okay sophie oh hey Soph. come here thank you hey thank you sophia i don't want to stop the video because this is pretty intense so i have camera come here come here babe babe like, hey, there's a leaf outside. I need to show you. So I have um, camera that is reminiscing, but I also get like stalking vibes. So I have keepsake. So I get a necklace. I feel like a vibe of a necklace. Hey, come here. Oh, somebody's at the door. That's why. So we have a vibe of a necklace and perception. I have learn from the past and make memories. So I feel like this is kind of your lesson that you're learning on this new trip, wherever you're going, that you're feeling like you're in paradise. To not replay the same karmic vibes I have. And, and I don't know who, again, I'm reading for, but if I have a girl with a snake that wants to get back and you're feeling like whatever you're creating, they're thinking, I feel like there's, you're just, they're trying to say that you don't have any skills that you're not creative, they're talking shit about you, they're leaving comments on your posts, they're talking damage, they're just smearing your name. I don't know what it is, there's a couple of vibes about this and it's almost like a gang stalking vibe I get. Um, and this camera is, I get two strong vibes off this camera, is one, this past person who won't let you go um, who wants to keep you forever in her pocket. I think it's a female. <laughs> I get, I, it's a lot of feminine vibes. I don't know who it is, but um, this person won't let you go and wants to keep you in their pocket, but they're reminiscing by watching and stalking you on some form of social media from their phone or just from their pictures from the phone. The other side of the, or the other flip of the coin is a camera that I see here on you is that you need to take pictures and they're saying, learn from your mistakes. Don't take hostages like you did last year and don't look to somebody else to make this your person. Just enjoy the ride. Just do not clamp or have expectations of an outcome. Don't force it, just roll with it. Just stay in your canoe. Just stay in your canoe and quit trying to force it. But this ain't shit is you're not even bothered by their comments anymore. It doesn't even hold any value what their thoughts of you are. Um, even though what they say, you're not, you're not bothered, you're unfazed. Um, la love triangle. So this is back to the original person. This is why this person is um, dealing with the trauma bond. Is that, that's the level that I, I get it. I mean, I almost want to say, are you, like, I feel like this is multiple, not just a triangle. This could be like an octagon. <laughs> There's a lot more than three, I think. But this love triangle is a third party, multiple lovers and choices and stabbed in the back. <clears throat> Heartbreak, pain, separation, deceit, deception, and shocking. So I feel like there's a tower here about a third party that um, maybe you, Cancer, stepped up and fought for in this third party, which created a split between the rest. I don't know what that means, but this is payback. I mean, this is why this person with the snake is like got this get back at you um, because you she kind of lost credibility with you, I feel, when you were justifying this other, and I don't even know if this is really a third party. I think it, it, it's more of a past friend or lover or something, something like that. And um, you feel stabbed in the back and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Or the other flip of the coin, here's another thought, is, um, 
No, nope, that's the only one. Sorry, I was gonna say something about a friend liking. I had the same vibe like several reads ago. I had the same vibe. I get the sense that there was a third party, multiple level, you have many choices. However, there's also a friend of yours or some friend that wants to date your ex vibe and it's creating a stabbed in the back feeling even though you're with somebody else now, you're in paradise, remember? You're enjoying yourself. I don't know why you care. Um, so that's the feeling I get is this feeling of somebody talked about or maybe it's the person you're with is talking about their ex in a positive light and you feel stabbed in the back. I'm not sure, but that's the energy off. I don't know who the people are. I just know the energy. Like I say, I just work here. So you're dusting it off and I feel like you now got a chaser, runner chaser vibe. And this chaser, I think it's still this person back here is a bit um, codependent and they need you, they want you. I think it's not only a financial uh, connection, but this is significant, significant. If I can't have you, nobody will kind of vibe. I do believe restraining order level, like I was saying at the beginning, and this dusted off is what I'm hearing spirits say is just like move forward. It's not phasing you. Whatever they're doing or trying to affect with you because of whatever you're doing, like you're on, you're not even aware half this is happening. And when you are aware, you're unfazed by it. I don't think you're giving it any attention. And that's, I'm hearing spirits say that's the right thing to do. Keep doing that. Keep doing more of that. Just stay in your canoe, eyes forward, ignore the haters and just move forward. It's gonna help you elevate. Bad karma as a result, bad karma. And again, this is a twin flame. Mm, I love that. So the twin flame is somebody, and again, twin flames are here to help. So one is typically elevating or waking up before the other. Um, but as the one elevates, it irritates this one. And as a result, they go through tower after tower. So I feel like whoever your twin flame is, is as you're elevating, so are they, but they're not doing it. Right. <laughs> they're doing it a little bit like they're going through glass windows and, you know, walls to elevate and you're just elevating and they're just, they're, they're going through tower after tower. Um, and that's a little bit of the vibe. This is a bit different. I didn't expect this um, cancer, especially after, well, I guess it would make sense. You're closing out, you know, with, with the retrograde, you're closing out things that don't serve you. And I clearly feel like you've done that. Like you cleared this energy. This might be old energy. And this is what I'm hearing is that several, and again, most of you are on different timelines. So this might be old news. This might be coming up. You don't know. Um, but this is where you're at is you're closing out the love triangle. I feel you're trying to uh, get over some some challenging relationships with people that want to put you in a box. Spirit saying uh, six pentacles on the haunted and the girl with the snake. They're coming in and saying they're going to. Um, they want to. They want somebody won the lottery and they and they're in paradise and you want a piece of it or vice versa and they want um, they want you back. Three of Pentacles, the Devil, the Tower, Seven of Swords in the reverse. <clears throat> Y'all can't make this up. King of Wands and the Fool. Whew, man, I should write a book. And this on the bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. So this person that I'm talking about that is haunting and holding on and the codependency and the, you know, I call it two ticks, no dog or taking the hostage. <clears throat> Whoever this is, I feel one. Cancer, this might be you, actually. I'm saying, I'm just saying. Somebody got a serious come up financially. They've got a better job. They increase their life. They're moving on. I feel several of you might be going to Paris, London, France. I see the Eiffel Tower. I see France. I hear French music. I see, I love French coffee. That's kind of what I, I can smell it. So several of you, this is a lifelong dream and you're moving forward and you're leaving somebody in the past. You're leaving them back there and they are a part of this love triangle. They feel stabbed in the back. Sorry, it took me a second. I needed some clarifying cards. I got a better understanding. Appreciate your patience. This ain't shit and dusted off. Is a direct, according with a haunting too. These are, this is spirit telling me, this is behavior from uh, uh, angry and quite honestly, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Envious, that's a great word, jealous, um, ex-partner that you left. I feel like they didn't treat you right. They didn't value you, definitely didn't see your worth. And uh, it this is a long-standing relationship you've had with this person. I hear love triangle and I hear third party, but the reality is, is I think they stepped out on you, even though this may have not even been a defined relationship, or if it was, it was 
loosely defined at best. Um, I think you were moving in that direction. I think you were all in cancer and you feel like you got your heart um, stabbed in the back. They see you as a twin flame. They're receiving bad karma as they should. And as their bad karma is hitting, you're getting to come up with financial blessings. That tells me you are an extreme overgiver and they totally took advantage of you. Not only, and especially financially, I think, because that's how you are getting paid back on your wheel of fortune. You did close this out. You experienced a world. You are currently on the wheel of fortune moving forward. You're gonna get blessing after blessing after blessing after blessing, congratulations. Nobody can stop that. Nobody can take this away from you. They are your gifts coming in. These people, two minimum, two minimum, two are gonna come back knocking on your door. I keep hearing two, two, two. You're gonna get two people knocking on your door trying to jump on that wheel to get back what they want. They think they're gonna come back with some kind of plan. I don't know, to take, it's financial. Both of them are liars and thieves. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just gonna to cut to the chase and quit dancing around them, what I wanna say. They're liars and thieves. They're thieves, they're thieves, they're thieves, they're thieves. <laughs> I think they want nothing but your money on the mind, and you know, mind on your money. That's my, uh, seriously, that's what's coming through. They're both lying to you. None of them have good intentions. They just want, they see you come up. They see you're doing something incredible. They see that this is a change of lifestyle for you. And I don't know if you really won the jackpot or a lottery, but you have a significant come up. And I do believe it's directly, it's directed, directly related to this thing you're creating, whether it be IT, music, um, like these are the visions I get is digital, digital marketing, digital sales, um, it's like a physical store face on some kind of platform where you're selling things, vitamins, wellness, all this stuff. Um, but there's not, the services are behind the scenes, right? They're not even you, it's, you're just managing this and you're making a million, you're making a lot of money. On the other side, I hear some people doing music therapy, music, somehow music and therapy are combined. I said that before, it's really strong. The younger person trying to do this, somebody's trying to do like Reiki work, Reiki work. Um, somebody's got a platform where they're just trying to put out good vibes, right? Kind of like tarot, but I don't think it's, it's like traditional good feeling vibe, gummy bear kind of vibe, mm, you know, rainbow sunshine. I am definitely not, I'm the street tarot. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm a little bit edgy, a little bit questionable, um, but this is kind of the same vibe. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to who's creating this new platform, this new beautiful thing that you're trying to develop and you're nurturing and you're spending a lot of time and it's genuine, I wanna hear, I wanna hear an applause because this is genuine and authentic and you're trying to move forward and you're just pushing forward. You've been sitting in a hermit state You've been minding your own business. You've been cleaning house. You're taking better care of yourself. You're letting go of bad habits. You are doing the right things. I feel like you're even developing a very strong relationship with your higher power, your divine creator, your Sherpa. You're trying to invest and get to know your tribe better. And as a result, they are rewarding you as you're listening to their guidance. I don't know what else to say. So <clears throat> yeah, a couple of haters hanging on to your shirt, your coattails. I have this queen of wands, she's in the reverse. So the queen of wands in the upright, passionate, my VP of marketing, I kind of relate to her. She can walk in the room, there goes light when she walks out there, the light goes with her. In the reverse, controlling, manipulative, um, aggressive, demanding, dramatic, a lot of drama, um, arrogant, obstinate, jealous, loud, deceit, like nothing comes out of her mouth that's truthful. I don't know what else to say. And she knows it all. Like I immediately hear, Mari, you can't tell her anything because she'll just interrupt you. And then she'll say that anything you're saying isn't true. And then she says she knows the truth and she's done nothing. There's no facts coming out of her mouth. It's bullshit. Everything. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I believe you. Right behind that is this was an agreement. You had an agreement. This was an agreement with this person or people. Like this is a, I wanna say go back to, I wanna say this is a situation of multiple people back maybe this third party triangle. I don't know if it's just a love triangle there. I feel like there's business. Maybe it's a work related, I don't know. I don't know. You'll know a lot of people watching this, hopefully more than five. So I have the devil and the tower. So shit's coming out. The tower is, um, the foundation is falling. This thing wasn't built correctly. It's just falling like a cards, you know, a, a house of cards in a windstorm. Just, they're all over the street. You know, you can't go and find them. They're gone. The tower, 
or the devil is that it it's the debauchery, the bondage, the materialism, the obsession. The, it's all chaos. It's noise and it's coming apart. It's falling apart. It's fighting within, fighting within the tribe of whatever this is. Um, so it's like the third party. It's like these people, whoever's in this triangle, this is my initial, this is what spirits tell me. Whoever is the running, the, the person running this show, which I think is this queen of wands in the reverse, is dictating and kind of creating argument. They're fighting amongst themselves about who's most important and who's in control and you should have done this and why aren't you doing that? And it's creating, it's creating the, they're, it's like, they're eating themselves. I don't know how else to say it. They're just fighting amongst themselves. And you are in your canoe cancer, managing <laughs> managing your own little world, living your best life, even though they're stabbing you in the back, even though they're they're looking you up and reminiscing. I mean, there's like a whole bunch of feelings on this. They're learning from the past. There's a bunch of introspective work that came from this, this tower moment where the truth came out that I feel... If I were being straight up honest, I feel like there was a posse that you may have even been involved in and the truth came out and you found out that they were actually going to stab you in the back. Like they, these are people you don't trust. You were part of them. You all had a goal and then you found out later that really wasn't the goal and that you, your demise was the goal. That's kind of the vibe I get. That might only be a handful of cancers out of who's watching this, but right after that, I have the seven of swords. So this tower is going to come down and they have, you have a revelation or somebody will in your posse, somebody surrounding you and they're going to rush in and they, um, the seven of swords is in the upright is the only card in the entire deck, which is deceitful. This is intended deceit, trickery deception, lies, manipulation, bondage, that's this card. And it's intentional, with malice, with intent to harm, that's this card. In the reverse, right? It's um, awakenings, it's revelations, and it's a revelation that somebody was trying to do you harm. Cancer, they only wanted your money. This was always the point. I almost want to say somebody this third party was paid or there was a some kind of some kind of game it was about somebody wanted to get in on your good side and somebody was trying to see if they could they wanted to see if you would sleep with them or go out with them it was like a bet i don't know whoever this is i think yeah bad karma bad karma on twin flame so the vibe i get about this hell is raining down hard on these group of people hard i believe cancer um you're fine <laughs> i just saw i just saw the ten of wands you're dropping whatever the hell this is um the duality that i get off this twin flame card is you trusted and loved this person tremendously i had um the king of wands you're kind of coming out of this and you're going to jump into something new i think this revelation of you not ever coming back to this is going to be helpful because you're dusting it off. I think that you're actually getting over this. This might have already been in the past. Like I said, you're all on different timelines. Several of you, you don't need it. I love you all. You can tell me. You can waste your time. Say this already happened. I'm just. I just work here. Okay. Or it's like coming in and ordering a sandwich and saying I've already eaten. I'm like okay. Okay. I'm still gonna make you a sandwich. <laughs> I just work here. Kind of the same. <laughs> same vibe. Several of you. This hasn't happened yet. And several of you, this is old news. I'm just here to report the news, regardless if you heard about it or not. Sorry. Let's talk about Kansas. Kansas, look at those cards fly. Tell me about cancer. Oh yeah, moon secrets are coming out. Somebody already still has some secrets. They're not gonna be totally truthful. You, yeah, that's that two again. I feel like two people are coming in. Not one, but you have two haters. Haters, hidden hit. Hey, they're going to be wearing a mask. They're going to want your money. There's that wheel, and it's in the reverse. Oh, my goodness. They want to jump back on there. And they're going to feel um, like a failure. They're going to feel like a failure, and it's over the three of swords. Um, and then I have the happiest card in the deck and the missing you. So somebody wants to come back and revisit um, this five of cups. Is They want to come back, and you were the sun. You were the happy ever after card. This is the happiest card in the deck. And the five is they made a mistake and they want to come back and revisit this. 
but the wheel of fortune is misfortune and it's failure. So I feel like because it's karmic, um, somebody's going to have a come up like you wouldn't believe. Somebody's going to escalate. That's that living in paradise jackpot. And the other person is bankruptcy. That's how this works. It's, it's to the same level that somebody gave. The other person exhibits or goes through karma. You go through dharma. And the higher the giving, you know, the the heart of the karma, especially with intent, right? So that's kind of what I feel is going on. And then you're going to feel like this person's going to chase you. It might have a couple of people chasing you. Cancer, cancers tend to overgive. We're lovers. We're lovers. We got to learn some boundaries. Here comes that knight of swords rushing in to have a conversation about uh, this relationship right there. I do feel this not only kept you in your head and in the dark, but you have a decision and you're doing it. Um, I feel like you're stalling personally. You're indecisive what to do. Should I go forward? Um, and, and I think the, maybe these people are also indecisive. Should I go forward and tell somebody the truth? Um, all these lies that come out. And that's a girl with a snake. Tell me more. I get Aries. Uh, let's see. I get some Cap. I get some other water signs. There might be a Scorpio involved here. Definitely Sag. Sag is all over this. Temperance. Balance. That's the whole thing. The whole lesson is you did learn moderation, tranquility, serenity um, to get over this um, three of swords. You're healing. I feel like maybe you're healing. Yep, there we go. I got the page of pentacles in the reverse. Um, wasteful. Somebody's blocked. And this is about irresponsibility and greed. So maybe they aren't going to come forward and be truthful. <laughs> maybe they're not. Tell me more about cancer. What can cancer expect? Justice. I love this card. So cancer. And on the bottom is the page of swords. Conversation about what really went down. And behind that is the death card and the rebirth with the king of pentacles. Somebody's going to feel very, very um, stable and secure after this. All right. That's a lot. That's a lot, cancer. I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. I hope you know about what's going on more than I do. I'm going to give you two cards because that one came out. Three, 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 and zero, zero. Whoop, whoop. I am powerful because we are like that. We get we get two cards. Um, I am powerful and I am observant. So the three three three, which is funny because I saw that on my phone today. It says you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity live your truths and be po be a positive light to the others. This is what I, I just talked about. This did I not? Somebody is trying to knock you off your square, and you don't care. <laughs> like bring it. Like, do your worst. You have no idea what I've been through. You couldn't, you couldn't even try. And I'm not trying to call anybody out, but that's the vibe I get all over this. So keep it up, Cancer. Good job. Right after that, I got zero, zero. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observant. Well, that's why you got to right there. Is you're being called upon for higher and greater good, as a cancer should be, being the most intuitive um, sign of the zodiac. Wow, what a great read. Please keep me uh, um, informed on how this turns out this week, cancer. Um, really would love it if you would hit that subscription button. It's free, costs you nothing, and it allows me to hit every single home on the planet to try to spread this love and light and uh, get a farther reach. Also, you get notified when my content is uploaded. If you like this vibe, consider subscribing. Also, I'm doing personal reads still. Um, if you'd rather have a um, taped recorded session, that's an option. Um, or we can schedule a face-to-face. -face. Either one is fun, it's always fun. Email me at fourth, F-O-U-R-T-H, fourth direction, or excuse me, dimension. Oh, it should be fourth dimension. Uh, dimension uh, tarot, T-A-R-O-T at gmail.com and we'll get something scheduled. Okay, until the Wednesday, Pulse, Love and Light to each and every one of you.